So this is some of the wiring I started to do. Um, I've got my voltage regulator for the solar panel installed with just a connection block over there that is going to split all the negatives up and I'll have one on this side for the positives. Uh, just some some capping running in there, all my cables nice and neat. Um, and that will go to my switches and, and my fish flying down the top. Running down there, the cables running down and some more hundred more capping. Going down to my batteries that I've installed. Um, also the switch panel, back end of the switch panel and the voltage um, voltage switch showing me the, the voltage that the batteries are running at and also a USB charger on the side there um, some more capping on this side where all the wires will just be running down to and then coming to the front that's just the voltage gauge there telling me what the volts, current volts are on uh, on the batteries and my little switch panel on the side it actually has lights I didn't even realise that until I installed it but it's got all the lights to say whether it's on and off and that will just be housing VHF on the top depth sounder and then uh, navigation lamps uh, anchor light bait tank pump and uh, the cabin lights at the bottom I'll probably have to install another one put that on the bottom there just for some deck lights and um, yeah, some extra gadgets I might um, install on the boat but yeah that's where I'm at so far with the electronics um, today I'm going to install some navigation lights um, that's going to be on the side of the T-top canopy so I'll just install the bottom, bottom half of it and install those um, navigation lights on, on the sides there so they will probably be be right on the side sitting on this side and that side and that's what I'm going to be doing today so I have these two uh, navigation lights uh, that I bought from Furman's Marine $59.95 as you can see on the price there um, anyway this is what I'm going to be installing I'm going to put them onto these brackets and they will then go on to the side of those uh, t of the T-top canopy um, legs so they will probably be on the side bar there just above so uh, first of all what I want to do is just get the center line of the crossbar uh, that measures uh, 27 so that would be 14 I'll just get a mark on there so I can line up my brackets and get it uh, nice and centered so um, get that on 14 and it will give us the center line that seems fine so we're going to just me uh, mark the holes at the bottom and uh, get that drilled in right so I've got my two um, holes measured up where I want to drill them I'm going to be using this 5 by 40 millimeter um, zinc plate metal um, nuts and bolts and that would fit right through so yep just going to go ahead and drill those two holes Right, so that's my two holes drilled and the bolt will fit right through there. Make sure that's nice and flush. be fairly straight so there we've got a nice flat surface to work with and um, I can now mount my navigation light straight on there uh, that will go up on the pole and uh, I think that would look pretty good up there um, so yeah let's carry on and see how far we get with this today
far I would be installing the legs of the um, heat of canopy what I've also done is I've just uh, pre-drilled a hole through there and that's where all my cables for the navigation lights anchor light and maybe spotlights will go through I've also pre-drilled a hole through this bracket um, and then I will at a later stage pre-drill the hole through the leg so the cables can just run straight in through there and um, just using a screw um, to mark the holes um, where I'm going to be drilling through to mount this offset bracket but I'll start off with the one hole and um, so from there we'll do the other hole and um, get this mounted Uh, drilling the second hole, still got my drill bit to line up the center. I've got my bolt through the first hole. This is all still nice and straight, and just through there. Starting to drill my second hole. I'll just remove all of this and uh, clean out that hole a bit. Make sure that it's nice and open for the bolt to run straight here. Right, so that's it. So that should fit right on there. Um, what I'm going to do at this stage is uh, probably um, just drill the holes into the, the leg um, so the cables can go straight through um, and then mount this all up on there. Um, then I'll um, I'll solder some wires onto there and run the, the cable in through. I'm going to have to do another hole through there into this um, leg so the cables can just run straight through and into the center console. And then um, as mentioned I also need to make a small hole in there it's only only going to be for the two cables for um, the navigation light to fit through there so I'm going to head, go ahead and uh, put a smaller drill bit and just go in through the side uh, to get in into there so I can feed my cables through first of all what I like to do is I just cut the cables offset so I'll leave the um, I'll leave the negative uh, long and I'll cut the positive a bit shorter and that way when you feed it through this tiny little hole it just only goes one end through it uh, at a time and it sort of fits in a lot easier so I'll go ahead and cut the red cable off short just leave that one back a little bit more and then sort of do the same with my um, electrical cable this way around I want to uh, cut the cut the black one short leave the long one the red one long again so we'll go in that much that much cut the black one shorter and just leave that all down <coughs> this stage I'll also feed in uh, just a couple of pieces of heat shrink and that I'll use to um, seal the joint off when I'm done so just joining this up
good. Covering the shoulder joints with a heat shrink and shrinking it down. Yep, so that leaves your um, cable nice and straight um, when you pull it tight. Both ends are nice and straight and these two joints won't ever touch each other so they can't touch even if it, it uh, rubs through they will never be able to touch and short out on each other as uh, just an added precaution I also add another piece of um, heat shrink just over top of everything keep that nice and sealed watertight and um, keeps it from shorting out in the future just going to add that on in there. And shrink that down as well. So that seals it up, that's all sealed up, ready to go. Uh, next step will be feeding it in through the hole, feeding it right in through um, this side and into the console so if uh, you've got a hole like this drill it in at an angle so you've got your cable sliding in the right way because um, working with tiny holes like this um, sometimes gets difficult to get a thicker cable through I didn't want to make the hole too big because I don't want any um, want to silicone that up and make sure there's no water or anything that gets in there um, so I don't want the oil to be too big, so it takes a little bit longer to actually try and feed it in, you need a bit of patience, um, but eventually you will get it through, get it in and it will be nice and tight. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to draw that at a bit of an angle so I can just feed it back through. And that way it should just slide right in, very easy. Just make sure when you do drill, always just um, shave off the edges, make sure there's no sharp edges on there that can damage your cable. I just normally use a bigger drill and then just move, work it in there until the edges are off. You can also um, take a small file, small, uh, file it in there and uh, get rid of all that sharp edges before you poke your cables in there and damage that. So just always make sure it doesn't damage the cable. Next step, we'll um, take this cable all the way through the other side of the leg and get it uh, ran into inside the, the center console. Way I find to um, actually get cable through these pipes is by feeding a piece of string through there first and then sort of connecting your cables to that and pulling it through. Right, just push and pull, not putting any force on that. And there we go, it's come through. And we can take this string off. Cut the ends off of that and just feed it all the way through. Right, so that's in. Next step, we're going to put um, this onto the center console, get that installed, and uh, wire it up, and see it working. We're just feeding it through um, this uh, offset bracket, um, and directly into the center console. the little hole we've made. And that's all set to go. Right, so on the inside, this will go, the negative will go to my negative um, connection over there, and the positive will be going to my switch at the bottom which is going to be my nav light
third one from the top, positive switch, that right, so that should be my one navigation light working already, this one, boom, and there it works, so, <coughs> easy as that, just going to repeat, repeat the whole process for the other side, and um, should have my two navigation lights up and running by the end of the day.